Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Baller here. We are now in this uh, first game of this October 28th um, NBA edition. Um, we have a lot of games for today. There are 11 games, so we better keep uh, this uh, ball rolling right now. Uh, this is the game between Atlanta Hawks with a record of 3 wins and 1 loss. Um, again, and still, uh, going up against Detroit Pistons with a record of 1 win and 4 losses. Uh, you heard uh, the teams, right? These two teams will beat again. Um, as they have just uh, played uh, each other, you know, just, I don't know, a couple of days back. All right, so uh, the game will actually start at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 7 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos have been uploaded. All right, so let's talk about this. The, the last game, uh, it was a couple of days back. Again, uh, Atlanta Hawks, they actually won that one with a score of 118-113. So it was Hawks winning over Detroit by five points. Now for this game, the spread given is, uh, let me check if there have been any changes. Um, the spread given is minus 6.5 and it's still towards Atlanta Hawks. And I guess we all know why. I mean, we gotta be honest. We gotta be straight. Atlanta Hawks is the better team right here. Um, they are the better scoring team. They are the better defensive team. They have the team which has the, you know, which has the, what do you call this, uh, the better record. Um, so right now, it's really just, the, uh, if, if Detroit Pistons got some weapons, it's just the youth that they have, uh, the intensity that, and the intensity that is being, or that will be brought about by their home crowd. Because again, still, the game will be at Detroit. Um, if you have watched uh, the game uh, last, you know, the, the other day, um, Detroit Pistons stuck around. You know, they they hang around uh, against Atlanta Hawks. Yes, Atlanta Hawks tried to get uh, tried to get away, um, but still, Detroit Pistons would have that run to you know that will make the game close. Uh, towards the end of the game, um, Bogdanovich even hit that four point play that even uh, made the you know made the or turn the game into a one possession game, right? I even thought that Detroit might have uh, might have escaped with that particular game, but uh, Atlanta Hawks, they were able to cap a mini run, giving them that win. But again, it was just a five point win, um, allowing the Detroit Pistons to cover the spread. So the question right here is, will Detroit Pistons uh, be able to figure it out? I mean, again, they stuck around with uh, Atlanta the other way, I uh, mean the other game, but they were not really able to take control of the game. Um, honestly, it would be it would be very hard for Detroit to do that because of their youth. Um, in terms of talent, they have that man. Um, in starting five for both teams, both uh, both starting five averages around 84, 85 points a game. So they can just cancel each other out. So the question is, um, will their bench be uh, whose bench would actually play better? Um, uh, realistically, it will be Atlanta Hawks, which would have the you know the deeper bench. Uh, and again, the, the only weapon that Detroit would have would be the fact that they are actually playing at home. Now, uh, for me, I guess Atlanta will win, but it will be Detroit Pistons uh, who would actually cover the spread of 6.5. That's a bit big for a team which doesn't stop uh, playing. You know, uh, on that particular game, Atlanta led by double digits, still Detroit came back. They led again by double digits still, Detroit came back, they even managed to make it lit really close, but they weren't able to get the, the, you know, to get the, the, to get the win. So, uh, the problem with Detroit is not really that the teams uh, blowing by them, of course they get blown down every once in a while, but really it's them figuring it out, grabbing the lead and controlling it. So, 6.5, that's a bit big, especially for someone playing at home. My pick on this one would be Detroit Pistons plus 6.5. Detroit plus 6.5. Peace out. Pass I love and God bless.